Hello everyone. Today we are going to show you how to make pickled vegetables. Pickled vegetables are great accompaniments with Indian cuisine, especially butter chicken or lamb curries, anything rich and uh, flavorful. Before we get to the ingredients, uh, I think um, it's probably wise to show you what I have left. Uh, you know, we run through about a jar of this every week, two weeks. This here is Thai uh, green chilies. They are extremely hot. And if you want to see what the color comparison is, they used to be green like these chilies. What I also have is the last pearl onion left because apparently my seven year old uh, enjoys these like candy with Indian food. Uh, at the bottom, what I have is ginger. I love ginger and it tastes great both in vinegar or in lemon juice. Uh, you do see some floating spices here. Uh, this one is pimento. Uh, pimentos are very close uh, cousins to uh, black pepper, whole black pepper. So I showed you the end result and now I'll show you what ingredients I have today. If you find some other interesting vegetables, usually harder, uh, you know, less sweeter vegetables do really well in this, something like uh, cabbage or cauliflower. All right, so let's talk about the ingredients. Because of uh, coronavirus situation, we couldn't find the Thai green chilies this time. So uh, what I have are the longer green peppers. They're not as potent as the Thai green chilies. Your options, just based on your taste, if you don't like very spicy, you can still enjoy the flavor with these uh, peppers. You can use serranos, jalapeno, though the longer, thinner peppers uh, taste much better in this than that, in my opinion. One pepper that is my absolute favorite because of the time I spent in Jamaica is the Scotch Bonnet. Uh, it looks like miniaturized bell pepper and it is extremely hot. It is much hotter than the Thai red green chili, but it pickles amazingly well. So you just chop it into really, really small pieces and it tastes amazing on Chinese food. The second vegetable we have is the uh, onions, uh, pearl onions, definitely prefer red pearl onions. There is no substitution. That is the only thing that works well in this. So please uh, try to find them. Carrots. Uh, carrot has always been my favorite vegetable. One thing to note with carrots when we are preparing is to, uh, you can either julienne them or you can, uh, you know, slice them or you can slice them oval. Uh, the ingredient here is ginger. Uh, you know, ginger is uh, again, one of my favorites, flavor enhancer for dishes and it's really good for you too. So ginger, I love uh, julienne shape cuts. From the dry spices perspective, what I have here is whole cloves, the whole black peppers, and you have pimentos. The last ingredient you see on this plate is called bay leaves. Uh, bay leaves are very commonly uh, found in the Indian store. I'm not so sure of their availability, uh, you know, uh, at Kroger or other places, but you can check them. Otherwise, you can order them online as well. So here are the dry spices and the vegetables uh, that we are going to need. And then of course, you know, finally we got our regular uh, iodized salt, table salt, and the distilled vinegar. In my home, uh, I like malt vinegar. I think the red onions taste best with malt vinegar. Unfortunately, uh, you know, some members in my family don't like it. So we tend to find the common ground and we basically use the uh, distilled vinegar, which also tastes amazing. There is no issues with that. All right, we're going to start off with the onions. So the trick is with the pearl onions, because they are so small, you have to try your best to take off as little flesh as possible. So it does take a bit of effort uh, to remove just the dry skin. If you can see that I haven't used or I haven't taken off much of the flesh. So we'll go ahead and continue to cut these.
and we are back. So the onions are ready. We're gonna put them in here. And now we're gonna start with the, let's start with carrots. So. Well, it does cut pretty deep. I could have actually used the Julius if I had scraped off the, uh, you know, top skin of the carrot, but anyways learn lesson for the next time so now we're gonna start going at an angle so we got our carrots ready and we will be back okay next step is ginger so we're gonna try this with ginger So we are back with the ginger. If you want to know an easy way to cut, always start off and give it a vertical cut. And now you can cut your slices into julienne. All right, so here we go. And we'll be back when the gingers are ready. So we are back and our ginger is ready. I am gonna put that on the side, try to make sure all the pieces are uh, separated now we pick up the chilies all right now chilies it's up to you uh, when we had the uh, thai peppers uh, my wife loves them uh, as whole you know she prefers that um, i sometimes do chop them into small pieces as well because i tend to use this and vinegar on top of our chinese soups that we make and the little pieces work really well. When we're eating this with roti naan and butter chicken, we prefer the whole shape. So it's totally up to you. Now we're gonna take our pepper and we're gonna make the same, uh, you know, carrot shape. And we'll be back with the peppers cut. All the ingredients ready. Here are our whole spices as well. All right, I'll see you back. We are back. So let's get started. We're gonna move the uh, vegetables. I'm going to add about half the jar. Add a bit of salt. It's about a tablespoon or less. And shake it really well to make sure the salt is dissolved about putting all the different ingredients together. Pimentos will usually float to the top. Black peppers may or may not float to the top depending on how well the vinegar penetrates. So uh, there is really no strict order, but what I usually do is I pick up one vegetable, I'll put a few carrots in there, a few onions, put a few chilies, and I'm gonna add a few cloves, pimentos, black peppers, and of course the bay leaves, right? And then we go with the second round of vegetables. If you have a metal lid, put a saran wrap or something else on here so that the metal lid just get rusted. I'm gonna give it a bit of a shake. I might top off with a little more vinegar to make sure yeah now we have all the vegetables uh, covered from a tasting perspective uh, my opinion is that if you like them deep pickled you know pungent then definitely let it go two weeks but if you like it more fresher uh, you know start eating it about day three or day four and try and finish it before day 10. i will see you in another video if there's anything specific uh, you would like me to make, please leave a comment and I'd love to give it a try.